I have lesbian feelings about the giant impact hypothesis. Now that everyone's thinking about the moon, have you ever wondered where the moon came from? The current leading hypothesis about the formation of the moon tells a story that goes like this. In the early days of the solar system, when the planets first coalesced from the excess matter of the formation of the sun, there were two planets this distance from the sun. One of them was what we call the early Earth, although its composition was pretty dramatically different from this Earth as we know it for reasons that will be covered in this story. The other planet we have given the name Theia. According to the calculations that underpin this hypothesis, Theia would have been quite a bit smaller than the Earth, about Mars-sized. I was curious what a small planet means, so I looked up the surface area of Mars, and it's about 200 Texases or a thousand Englands. For comparison, the asteroid that wiped out the non-bird dinosaurs and nearly wiped out all life on Earth was the size of Manhattan. The thing about massive objects is they are attracted to each other, and Theia and the early Earth were no different. They orbited the sun, but they also orbited each other, and with every pass, Theia grew closer. It was predestined, it was a matter of maths, from the moment these planets formed, Theia was going to fall into the Earth. And eventually, she did. The impact smashed both planets to pieces, it rent them to their cores, and as gravity did its thing, and the pieces came back together and the dust settled, what was left behind was one single larger planet and a satellite. And for as long as the Earth exists, there will be pieces of Theia in its core. I mean, listen, have you ever fallen in love? Because 